Welcome back to our everyday living to this edition of uh, what was it? An LG, I think it was. Oh, I can't remember what it was, but I think it was an LG washing machine dryer. Yes, it was dryer combo type of thing. Um, unfortunately, I've got the bearings. I definitely have the bearings, but unfortunately, I cannot get the seal because we cannot find no numbers, nothing like that. She's pretty cacti and scraparoo. So let's pull the whole thing up completely apart, take all what we can out of it, find out, instead of it being, say, a five or $600 item, because we know it's not gonna be, or because of the bearings and the, and the seal. Well, like I said, I got the bearings, but I just can't get the seal. Um, find out what we actually get out of it. I know there's a bit of cast aluminium in there, uh, I could just take the plastic out and take as much as I can out of it and then scrap it as it is. But the scrap yard, if I take it as it is, like with all the concrete in it, all the plastic, they won't pay me for the whole machine. They just put it in a bin and say, on your way. You know, and that's why I do pull them apart as much as I do. So I get all the plastic out, take all the screws out so there's no, plastic, no screws in the plastic, that sort of thing. Um, even when it comes down to the circuit boards, I really go down to micro scrapping, get all the copper out of the circuit boards as much as I possibly can. And what's not able for me to get out of the circuit boards, I put it into the, the pressing steel anyway. So anyway, we'll get to, get started into this. I'll show you where everything goes, like the bear and the seal, straight into there. We've been filling a 44 gallon drum. Um, all of our nuts and bolts and stuff like that. That'll go into that 44 gallon drum I'll get the bolts out of the concrete there as well. I could Could be nasty and put a bit of concrete in the in the 44 as well, but I don't bother you know, There's no point getting paid for concrete. It's not steel. It's actually concrete, so We're gonna put it elsewhere. We've got a dumpster here. We can put it in Sit that into there. Right, we'll get this stuff that we're gonna pull apart over on the bench. That what we've got to take apart. That to there. This thing here over on the bench. Gonna take take the glass out. It's just a process. That's all it is. there now the motor is aluminium unfortunately but I still get the aluminium out of it I put the aluminium windings in I can take it off cut it all off and put a grinder through it and that sort of thing and then I peel all the wire off there and put it in domestic aluminium I didn't want that to drop in there but it did right that can go down with our aluminium motors which I've got over here I've got to pile them here so a fair bit to do there June's doing some heat sinks and that sort of thing, our computers. So we're spending a bit of time in the shed today. This can go straight out. All this big stuff. Straight out here. Almost got it full again. Doesn't take long to fill up, I tell you. Right, this here can go into the 44. Will it fit? Sweet. That's just going to top it off. This is plastic. It just goes straight in the trash. This into here. This is metal. It goes straight out. It locked on, didn't it? Straight out here. I've got a bit of room there. Down there, somewhere. Down there. That's good enough for me. I'll sort it out later. Right, yeah, we can pull that out of there. And get two with some cutters. We don't have to be gentle no more. Get that out of there. Get all the wire off and whatnot. Move that out of the road. Maybe even get the spider gear taken up. Fall down. Right, that bit of metal there. 
I try to get it every little skerrick I can. You know, metal's metal. That's the way I look at it. Grab all the screws off. All the clamps, pair of pliers. Go for this one first. I don't think I'll be able to get that off there. There we go. That's the clamp. Come on, off you come. There we go. Plastic there. Take that off. I don't have to use a screwdriver for that. We're not salvaging it. This is what I usually do when I'm stripping them apart. Be brutal. That hose clamp there. Screw it in. Not too held on, boy. Jeez, it's heavy. I actually priced one of these. <laughs> About 90 odd bucks. And then comes the side cutters. Can't now wire off. We've already started another bin for our wire. Try and get all the plastic off as we possibly can. I went in there one day and they, they had all these tabs on and they complained, so I've got to cut them off. Right, I'm not going to worry about those couple of hose clamps. Right, that can go straight in there. Finish with that, get that out of there. That's in the road, we'll have to do that. Tanner, tanner is it there. I've got to go back again. Where is that thing? There it is. Get the heater out. I think now we're finished with. Might have a few screws left here. We have. Swap that back over. With that already being partly apart, makes it so much easier to pull it apart completely. Right, we'll get two with the reciprocating and saw and cut that up later so I can fit it in the trash. I don't bother trying to sell the parts or anything. It becomes too hard and costly. 
ceramic plastic. That's only all plastic on that. I've got a bit of alloy there, is that? Yep. Take the door apart. Makes it easier for putting in the trash too. Screwdriver. Take that one off there first. In the trash. Alright, undo that. He's off. Off and running. Pick it up and get this piece out of here. A little bit of cast aluminium. Alright, set that down there. Deal with that later. Got to get that out of there, that screw out of there. That way down there. piece of cast aluminium with a bit of steel which we're going to take apart I can go straight out the back now, that piece there left on this. Already got to take off the spring, the pin. How's that held in there? Oh, I reckon I could just tap that out. <coughs> Chuck it in the vice. Alabama. That's that one. And that is that one. That's done. I'm gonna tread not. Oh, that's that spring. All right. That's all cast aluminium. We've got a bit of, I think that's cast aluminium underneath, it looks like it. fingers. We'll need first aid. Oh, just let you know we've got no band-aids down here too. 
So if I need first aid, we'll have to do a run. Come on, here you come. Oh, the fan will be on that. Won't be able to get that out straight away. It's on the other side, the fan. Get a new bit. I think I broke my bit. Yeah, I think I've about broken my bit. Is that plastic? Oh, I dare say so. Yeah, that sounds like plastic. Yep. No, that don't sound like plastic. Come back here. Let's go. It might be plastic. Cut it and find out. That's a hard plastic. Yep, almost like Bakelite. Get a new one. It's doing the same. They're in there. They are in there. Can I borrow yours? Where are you? Oh, yeah. yeah, I want to borrow your duva, this thing. That's fine. Done the trick. That broke off. That's all of those, that's all of that. That's tin. That's that and that. That's on by a socket. Where's that little one? No, it's got to be smaller. I'll right, sort that out in a minute. Screws. Oh, come on. Probably 99% of it all done. It's all cast aluminium. We've only got one bit of a screw stuck in there somewhere. There it is there. We we got a tolerance with that, so that's fine. Down there, that's a big piece. Grab our magnet, pick that up. Probably notice in the scrap runs that I hardly take much plastic because this is how I do it. That to there, that in there. I 
nothing on that board. Let's do a circuit board though. Put that as scrap metal. Through pressing steel. Nothing on that board too. I don't save none of those. There's no point saving them. I want a little bit of wire there, a little bit, little bit, every bit counts. That there, that into there. Right. Deal with that, and then we'll come back and deal with that motor. Oh, that's back to front, eh? That's not small enough. That's the one. <clears throat> Always left hand thread. It's out. See what's inside this one, whether it's a copper or it's aluminium, it's not gonna matter at all to me. Still get both. Think we're gonna have to cut that out of there. And that's a copper one. So we'll definitely take that out of there. Yep, yeah, we're gonna have to cut that. Get to cut it open. That was easy enough. Just check it with the grinder. Most definitely copper. We'll put that down that one. They're the ones we've got to cut out, cut apart anyway run the wheel through. All right, what's next? I think we'll bring over the drum. Get the drum done. Move our tools out of the road. That's our Allen key. Let's finish that. Finish of those. All right, now to get that out, I find the easiest way is just to cut it there, cut it there, and then they can pull it out. That's 
it's out of there. But if you've got to replace them, don't cut it. That's dealt with. It's another drum we can use. Put screws and God knows what in. That's a big one. Very big one. All right, now what I do with this is I get to with the grinder, cut it through there, cut it through there, cut it through there, then I just flog the crap out of it. So I'll get to and do that. Down there. That's the center. Oh, we'll get that peak later. All right, get on to the rest. Get all the screws out of this. Out of there, son. You're not gonna be repaired. This part here, I actually, what I do with this is I cut that center out. With the reciprocator and come right around here because all inside that casing there is steel sometimes they're aluminium this one i reckon is steel um i have had them so that they're aluminium The reason why I take every single screw out, because if you put them in a bucket, then you weigh that bucket of screws, it adds up. So for every screw, that's why I take them out. I've got a bucket of screws in there that weighs probably two or three kilos. Got all sorts of bits and bobs in there. I know it seems like a waste of time, but to me it's not. It's all weight. Gonna have to get some new ones of these. I could send the plastic as well because it's weight, but I don't feel that dirty on doing that sort of thing. I feel it's dirty, you're sending all the plastic to the scrapyard. That's just me though, you know. It doesn't feel right. I send a percentage, but not a lot. Not a great quantity. Like to send this, they'd really kick up a stink. Because they've got to pay, pay waste to take to the landfill anyway. So I don't get charged much of a waste levy because they know I don't bring in too much plastic. I still get some waste levy because some of the plastic's still there. No money. No. Band-Aid. That's all we got. We got the aids for that one. Give me some assistance.
Sounds like June's all finished over there. New finish there, are you? On those. Got a lot of extruded aluminium out of that. Get off there. That's all out of that. That is done. We're right around. So what do you got? Um, they go over. There's a pile on in the buck, white bucket in there. Right, we'll get to and do that later. Just cut that off there. Yeah, that white bucket. See how it's got copper alley? Copper alley radiators. That's gonna be dealt with later. Not straight away. Right, wheel this over. Get it a lot closer. Get our dollar value. A lot of wire and God knows what. Oh, what fell out there? A clamp. Pick up that. Right. They can stay there. I'm not doing nothing with this casing. This will stay as it is because I. We get a lot of washing machines and stuff. Get that wire off there. All of our photos we don't need to hang on to now. We can actually discard all of our documentation and stuff like that. She's no longer gonna be alive anyway. Cut all our clips off. That way we can put our wire straight in our bin over here. Feed that through there, get that ferrite off. Hmm? That's all done. That goes in the black yeah, bin. Okay. okay. Yep. Um, you can do those, do the wire now. Like I suggested, the wire. You're going to chop the ends off the wires. The wire. Yeah, I'm going to go up and get the clothes off the line. Oh, okay, yep. All right, and check the ones inside. Yep, all right. Well, the ones inside are finished. Hey? The ones inside are finished. The ones inside are finished. Right, that having a heater in it, I think we could send that as it is. That's our... 1% of plastic and whatnot. We do, what they do allow us a little bit, not much. Not me anyway, because I'm very regular. It's not if I'm doing it once a year or anything like that. It saves me have to take all that off. Just cut the wires and away we go. I don't worry about trying to keep all those brass ends or anything. Some of them are metal anyway. Right. Quick and easy way of putting wire out of the road. I don't worry about taking all the insulation tape, the electrical tape off it because it's a plastic anyway this is where we get most of our wire from out of washing machines right, that's got to go that way I don't worry about cutting wires here or anything, I just, no because it's just too far to pull through. But if I have to and I have problems, like I'm having problems now, I usually just grab it and give it a twist. I leave that piece on there. Leave it on. I don't feel there's a need to take that piece off, that big chunky piece. Right, and with what we do with these, oh, my apron's over that. 
where are they? Where the hell are they? Get our cable cutters. We go as close as possible as we can here because we don't worry about these. But if I see some with actual proper brass, like these are brass, but the easiest way, if you want to go to do plug-ins, chop it as close as you can. You haven't got to worry about pulling them too much out. You don't need to make a pot of stew or anything like that for plug-ins. Just squeeze it tight in the vise. This is just an example. Grab a pair of sidecars, pull them out, and then you've got a bit of copper there as well. So that's what you can do. That's the easy way. If you get a whole heap, you can get that as, you know, strip wire and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I don't do much of it. Then you can just throw that in your trash. So that's what you can do. Um, I don't bother too much. It's a lot of fiddly work. Too much micro scrapping for me. We've got enough to do as it is. Got a whole bucket of stuff over there. We've got a micro scrap. That'll be micro scrap. You get the copper out of there. That's what we mainly go for. Uh, we get the air chisel out. Breeze through it. Right, these solenoids. Take the ends off here. Them down there. They're brass as well, but I don't bother with them. Right, and what I do here. Take these off here. I don't separate it. I'm just separating from the plastic. That's all I'm doing. Turn our screws upside down. Then that goes in the bin over here. Because they can go as... Um, they usually put them through with the fridge compressors. Usually. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they put them in a different category. They have got copper in them, they're not aluminium, I guarantee you that. I've flogged one open, they're definitely, alum they're definitely um, copper. I'll just sit that there, got a few more to get. There is a... Uh, metal plunger inside these as well I'll be pulling them out shortly that missed go along with the magnet with the, on the ground on the pole pick all our lost screws up bad enough I got a puncher in the old barra yesterday had to repair that piece of plastic went through the goddamn tyre right this is what I was talking about. I'll show you shortly. That can go into there with the metal plunger that's inside here. See, there's the metal plunger. There should be a spring inside that. That can go that way. Yes, I'm pretty quick. Now, these are your diaphragms that you got here. Uh, you can can replace these if you've got them. She says there's been some rusty water going through this. Uh, if you hang on to them and you've got another machine that's got the same sort of setup where it's got the screw down pieces and that sort of thing, you can actually salvage them if you've got a problem with your machine and replace the diaphragm if you've got that problem. Because uh, sometimes they get a hole in them, that sort of thing. Uh, but I'm not going to worry about those. We're just taking it all apart. Oh, I can't get that one off there. Okay, we'll leave that on there. That clamp will grab. No point trashing it. When it's scrap metal. Anything that's easy and easy to access, I take off. Nothing else in there. Not going to worry about those clamps. I should, but I'm not going to worry about them. There's a lot of fiddling around and whatever. Come on. Right, 
that's there, that out of there, that into there, still got a little bit of metal but not much, alright get the main board out of here, how's that in there, a couple of screws at the back, is it, that one there, I think that moves now. Yep, there we go. That's out of there. All that can stay there. We just chop it off with the cutters, 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 cutters. Still got to get under the pump yet. That there, that off there. Ooh, yucky. Look at that. Grab that clamp. I'm going to get this up on the bench, work it on the bench. Goes everywhere, wire does. They earth it, they do whatever they can. So no shorts go, you know, because you do get power loss running through this much wire. <coughs> oh, it's got two pumps. Okay. That straight off there. Straight down there. Uh, we'll get our finish this case off, get the motors, get the copper out of those. They may be may even be aluminium. You just never know. That off there, that off there. Like I said, I try not to send too much plastic. Only what I need to. Right, we'll pull that out of there. Um, that one, and where'd it go? I've got too much on the bench. There it is. No, that's not it. There it is. That's what I want. That's done. Ooh, it's peeing all over me. All right, get that out of the row. We get a lot of plastic waste. I only wish I had somewhere I could actually recycle all this plastic waste, but we haven't. So, no, goes in the dumpster, goes in the bin, in the trash. Now we'll hang on to that. I've already got one over here. We might be able to sit one inside of another, make use of them. No point squashing it up or anything like that. Down there, son. Barrack and stay there. Alright, get back up here and get this working. Get to go on the pump. 
Right, we're finished with that wire. Done with that, no ends on that. Take the paper off. Be nice to head over with two binfuls, like that one over there is full of this um, low grade wire. That's what they class it as, low grade. But this is what happens with machines that actually don't work or I can't repair. Flip this over. Get that off there. Oh, this has got the good wire on. The wire I can actually take off. Come on, off you come. There we go. Got some action. Alright, just slide that straight out. Straight down there with those. I'll get to and cut those up in a minute. Straight after I do this circuit board. That's there. Now I've only got to undo those. They're the do that. I could send the whole thing as it is. The more steel I take over, the heavier it is. Steel is heavier than plastic. No, it's a waste of time me going over with just plastic. They wouldn't take it. They don't take it anyway. So. Should be chucking it in there and filling that up. Alright, take these out because they've got a bit of ferrite in them. In the centre there, in that part there, in the shaft. Does away with the plastic. Centre housing. That's just what I do. Like you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. I'm um, just showing you how I pull things apart. That's plastic. I can go over in that one. How I deal with scrap metal and wire and yeah. Right, we need a knife to get the ferrite out of there. Can't send, can't send that with it. Get our knife open. <coughs> Excuse. Right, probably just as easy just to chop it off. Chop the wire. Peel it back. Alright, then pull it off. Pull the wall, little bits of wire out. Fair right in there. Alright, this one here, because there's two there, there's one there and one there. Give it a flog. Give it the old bash treatment. Cut the end of the wire off there where the join is. Peel your tape back as much as you possibly can. Don't stab your fingers, of course. I'm prone for doing that. I'll tell you what. The amount of screwdrivers I've had hanging out of my hands, it's unreal. <laughs> I could have just chopped each end off and done away with the wire, but, you know, that didn't take long at all. We can send that as it is. 
It's got no ferrite in it. It's got the insulation on it. Now, when it comes down to the foam, I'm not sure. Geez, that's ring and wet. Um, so I just usually grab the knife with these foamy pieces. Doesn't take long. Give it a run down there. Just take as much as I can off. Doesn't look so furry then. Don't have to use the knife in some cases. That's good enough. No ferrite in amongst that. Take all these plastic clips. Might as well do it as you're going. That there's going to come off. That furry stuff. That's it. That there and that there. Right, that's one leg done. Get up to the other leg. It's always in front of me, but can never find it. To there, and further up the line. I was spending time cutting all of that off, and that's what I think. You know, I was told not to worry about it. So, oh, I thought, well, okay, not going to worry about it. Down to the last end. That's that. Now sometimes it's worthwhile if the machine doesn't actually work is to scrap it. Uh, don't send it to the landfill. You don't get nothing for it for being at landfill. Know what to do with the knife? There it is. Um, so yeah, you know, you get your bit of wire out of there. You get, you know, what you can. A bit of copper. And that's why I put all my plug ends over there. Right, that looks like that. That is one wire harness complete. Oh no, there's another one there. Geez, I just about missed that. certainly would go crook with that. What did it do with them? I just had the bloody things there. Always losing them. Now, just double check. See if we're good to go. Give it the old field treatment. Another one there. Now I think we're done. Good o, good o. That was a lot of wire. Like you, the weight of that's probably about half a kilo. 
but it adds up pretty quick bloody quick well you only got to look at this over here this is chock a block full probably over a hundred kilos sitting there that's a lot of wire that's why we had to start another one so that'll be a good payday when we take that in <coughs> right we'll get to and start doing a bit of micro scrapping we're getting down to the nitty-gritty here where'd that other bit of wire go the other end probably underneath there this is what I, what you can do you twist it together twist it twist it twist it find the other one it's there somewhere probably probably on the ground can't see it it's nowhere to be seen it's going to walk about yep yeah, it's going to walk about but anyway if you got the three of them you can do this <coughs> night air starting to get to me cut that off Oh, cut that off that gets your your brass ends then you can put that in your metal you've got your your wire there that I usually put it in there when I've got there me brass ends they can go over here and we'll check them first yep they're the brass ends the brass over here with the symbol ting ting that's our June nose right we'll get the grinder out of the road we don't need the grinder we need a bit of air. I'll turn the air compressor on. Air chisel, air. Get a glove on. Got to have the glove on. That up against there. Move a few things out of the road. There, copper inside there. Inside those. Uh, in these, there's copper in those. So, um, yeah, we'll just get to and pull them off at the moment. Just then they've got the copper inside. And put that into micro scrapping. In our little bucket we've got behind us. that's how easy they are that's that one done last one up here done right now what we do with those this one, this one, this one, this one here. All of these, take that end off there. <coughs> these ones here, we, we go through as a micro scrap because we get the copper out and pull it all apart. All right, they go into a little bucket we've got stuck over here. They're a, they're a June job. We've got a whole heap of them in there to do. That one, yeah, that one can go. That one's good. So yeah, we, we hang on to them, get the copper out, and we put it in the yellow lid. Because it's got the um, 
um, I'm, I can't think of the bloody name, resin on it. And we put those down into there. The ones we can't do, and that's the thing, that are too small, too fiddly, that's where we put them, back down there. They go in with the fridge compressor stuff. Don't need that now. Now, uh, hold that with the glove on. So if it spins, it doesn't cut me. That was luck, it didn't. This one might. No, luck, it didn't. So I go down to the nitty gritty sort of stuff, as you've noticed. Not worrying about that little bit of wire. Clean up as we go. Right, it's very unfortunate that we've had to pull this one apart, but that's what happens. You know, sometimes I don't find it's worthwhile, and if I can't find the parts, Cost-wise, that sort of thing, you've got to look at your cost. If I make nothing out of it, well, I'm better off pulling it apart and making something out of it. All right, that's fully extruded. That goes over there. Uh, this one here has a little metal tab on the bottom. So you can pull that tab out. Just grab your side cutters, wire cutters, whatever you do with them. It usually pulls out. That one just broke off. I'm allowed a couple of percent anyway. They're broke off. They can go as extruded. I think it's about one percent. Anyway, we'll get to and do these other pieces here. Like I said, I'd show you how we do these. Where's our cutters? Cutters are on the bench. Here, head down to our yellow lid bin. This is where this stuff goes. Sit that there. Get our cutter out. I didn't bring my screwdriver down. Straight through. They're only a pair of wood shears, pruners. That's all they are. <laughs> they work. You can use whatever works, I suppose. Good old bunnings. They just about got everything. All right. That. We'll get a screwdriver now. And all we do, turn it over, pull that metal piece out of the road. Don't know what they'd call that. And pull it off. And that's straight in our bin. Don't have to wind it off. Just pull it off. Look at that. So simple. Another strand there. You probably can't see it on camera, but that's a strand. Get every strand we can. I'll get the brass bits off that. These ones I do. Uh, this side. Get that out of the road. Like there's some bits I do get in the brass and that sort of thing. Oh, come off. It's not going to come off for me. There we go. Like I wouldn't know what that would weigh because we always, we've got a system where we put it where it belongs. We don't weigh everything individually. We weigh it as a bulk like you got in here. There's a lot in there. We've still got a lot of motors to go into there. We've got, you know, unreal. That's only, oh, about a quarter to full, but yet if I stamp on that, she's only about this high off the ground anyway. So that's that. That's that whole machine stripped and poked and prodded and God knows what. I've just got to sort out that bottom drum piece there. 
um, sit down there so I can get the brass out. But like I said, what I'll do is I'll, it looks like it's got to come all the way out to here, so I'm probably better off. And this is where some of the waste levy comes in. Um, that I'll probably just cut that straight off there because there's a lot of steel inside that. Um, it's weight. Not much plastic, there's more steel in that than plastic, so that can go into the into the pressing steel. Uh, that can go up there. This thing over here, I've got to deal with that and the front part of the door anyway. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed tagging along me, with me on this one, and I'll uh, deal with the concrete. And uh, yeah, it's a shame that we've had to strip this one apart. Unfortunately, it happens. 99% of it, that's what happens, you know, you can't fix them all. So if you've come this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Because if you don't hit the notification bell, you're not going to get notified when we put a new video out. Just like this one here. So till next time everyone, happy dumpster diving, happy scrapping, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!